Good day, it's James here, VE7HJ. I'm out in Chilliwack and I'm doing another video on my D-Star hotspot, which is going to go mobile very shortly. There's a power supply under my table here that's providing 12 volts up to a Astron power relay switch, which when the power drops from its source, the car or your power supply, it switches over to the standby batteries in behind. So that little device is charging and monitoring the backup batteries and it's also the minute the power drops from its source from the car will switch over to the backup batteries. And you can see here, I'll try and zoom in and get a better picture if I can this time. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it's running, it's drawing about 40 amps the whole system at 12.42 volts right now which is off the backup batteries. And you can see that I've got both a splitter out here, which is taking it from 12 volts to the little plug-in adapters at 5 volts DC, uh, roughly 2 amps each. You can see I've got my Devato wireless router in line. And I've got the DVAP, and I also have the Raspberry Pi. And way up top here, I've got my TELUS internet stick here. So what I'm going to do is just come back down here and show you when I switch it back over to car power, you're going to see, and I apologize for all the movement here, hopefully you can see this clearly, I'm going to switch back on to the car power, or in this case my power supply, and you can see the voltage there has gone up to 13 volts plus a little, still drawing about 31 amps off the system that I'm running right now. I'm going to do a switch over so it's like the you've unplugged or stopped the car so the power from the cigarette lighter is gone. You can see the voltage will drop because my little standby batteries don't put out the same voltage as the alternator or the power supply does. So still drawing about the same power and uh, what hasn't happened and I, that's what I was aiming for is that the router, the Raspberry Pi, I don't know if you can see all the lights on there, the DVAP and also the Telestick are still operational. And that's uh, done intentionally to try and prevent any having to restart everything and start it back up. So I can leave my car to refuel. I can get out and uh, run into the store and not have to but worry about restarting everything. And I, if I was in the middle of a radio conversation using maybe my HD31, or sorry, ID31, um, I won't lose anything. I can walk in the store and the radio will still be active if I'm trying to monitor the, the conversation that's going on here. And I think I've got my radio here, if I can reach around behind me, running here. And I'll just see if there's any traffic on the system so I can show you a dropout and uh, without any loss of communication here. Of course, every time you're trying to demo something, nothing, uh, nothing goes on in the hotspot. But I can assure you, uh, when I was getting dropouts, and I'm just doing a switch over here right now back to the car power system, when I was getting dropouts, I would hear the radio say to me that the... If the system has unlinked from the uh, reflector so I knew that it was disconnecting with the power outage and here it's not coming back and giving me that command right now or that message so I'm not losing any of the system here and that was the intent of what I'm trying to do so for field operations it'll be in my car it'll be set up properly and, and mounted securely I can take the DVAP and my um, telestick out of the system so I don't leave them in my car when it's parked for long periods of time where I'm concerned about break-ins and if I want to go and set up a hotspot uh, in the field for emergency operations or just for club use it'll give me about 28 hours of standby time uh, without draining my car battery so that's it for now if you need any information you can reach me at ve7hj at telus.net that's James from Chilliwack BC